Hey, Simon, I might jump in and um, ask you why you've decided now to take the job, uh, particularly so soon after um, joining World Rugby. Well, uh, uh, Christy, yeah, uh, how are you? Um, yeah, um, uh, obviously, it was a it was a it was a quick decision. It came up the job, the role came up, and I got asked by uh, by the Peter Horn if I'd uh, if I'd be interested in going for the role, and then straight away it it tickled my uh, fancy straight away. The, just coming, it's a it's an opportunity to um, if if you don't know me, I've, I grew up in Sydney. I grew up in uh, Tempe. Um, I'm a Born in uh, born in the Southern Districts and uh, raised played played my rugby through juniors and Manly uh, Colts juniors uh, through the first grade before going overseas. So it's an opportunity to come home. Uh, to be honest, and uh, the the opportunity came up so quickly and so uh, so uh, um, yeah, it just it was a really good opportunity at the time. It was the right time, and it, it was all about timing your career. What happens? Uh, what opportunities come about? And uh, this opportunity just came about at the right time. Um, uh, with uh, with the direction World Rugby was going, with uh, the direction that the Waratahs wanted to go with, and uh, I, I, I took the opportunity. I guess the the biggest question is. Um... Plenty of coaches, plenty of people have been at the Waratahs. It's really only been one or two people that have had some success. How do you plan on turning around the Waratahs who finished last in 2024? Well, I've been in the role officially uh, two days, so I'll give you, give, you might give me a bit more time uh, to, to figure it out. But uh, I, I just want to return the, the club back to its DNA. Um, what's a Waratah? What's a Tar? To play for t the, the Tars when... I'm going to lean on the people that have been there, that, that, that have been through the experience, the experienced players, experienced uh, administrators, the 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 past greats, and I'm going to I'm going to lean on the, on the journalists, the, the people that are there that, that that know the core fabric of what it, uh, it means to be a tar. So it's going to be a huge uh, opportunity for me. Uh, I'm going to start from the, the from from the from the from scratch, get to know everyone. I'm a person. I'm a people person. I get to. I think uh, my biggest um, strengths are dealing with people, so I'll get to know everyone personally uh, through through the Waratahs, through the Waratahs women's. Uh, we've got uh, good bones there, so we've got good people there, and uh, we we are expecting uh, success uh, in our in our in our future uh, journeys. Simon, will you be now involved in the appointment of the the search for the coach? Um, and if so, you know what are your assessment of the the kind of the candidates and the people um, around whether we've been writing the right names or not? But um, uh, <laughs> is that part of your role now? Yeah, I think uh, as, as part of my new role, uh, two days maybe. I've already been in a meeting around uh, coaching uh, coaching uh, options. And we've got some very good options in there in place. And uh, Paul did say to me, um, in any future uh, conversations, if I'm not comfortable with passing on the the, the directions, uh, the questions to him. But no, no, I, I will be. It will be part of my role, uh, uh, finding the best candidate and uh, support staff a lot around him, mm -hmm. uh, her, uh, who it may be. Uh, so we we we're, we're looking for yeah, we were looking for a world class team to take the team forward and uh, yeah we'll we'll uh, we'll update you pretty quickly with uh, what our options are. Yeah, you I guess yeah, if it, yeah, if I could just add two bobs worth there. Yeah, so hundred percent. So obviously we've got processes in place, but one of the things we've always said that we would want the engagement of our new director of performance. We're conscious that Simon's still got a, a period of time where he has to finish out his current job, but we will involve him as much as we possibly can in that process. Tom, do you get a sense of the urgency of, of that appointment? Um, you know, players looking to, you know, you need to do recruitment. There are players you're looking to recruit and re-sign and all that sort of thing. I know that you don't start officially, but do you get a sense of that urgency to the, the, the players yeah. some certainty? Yeah, definitely there's urgency there. Um, my my job doesn't officially start for two weeks, uh, two months, but I'll, I'll be in the role uh, from uh, day one. I've already been contacting uh, certain players uh Certain staff, uh, just giving them a level of comfort. Uh, recruits, um, uh, yeah, just just trying to uh, make things smooth, a smooth transition when I come into the job officially. So, yeah, it, it, I do, I do get the sense of urgency, and it is, uh, it is, uh, uh, is urgent at the at the moment.
No, I'll just ask one more. Obviously, the, the your experience with Fiji, that's a you know, it's a union that doesn't have a lot of resources or traditionally hasn't had a lot of resources you had to make do with what you had um, and, and you know, achieve great success. What You're now coming to a club that, that has traditionally had a lot of resources. Um, what can you join together from your experience with Fiji and going to a place like New South Wales? What are the common threads you think um, that, you can, that you can use to chase success? Yeah, well, the, the biggest thing for me is resources are things that come and go. Uh, people are people, so they're always there and they're always uh, you're always reliant on them. So the way you treat people, the environment that you create for them, uh, the the environment that uh, you you get people to work within you for you is the most important thing. So that's the, that's the common thread that we we we've got uh, as a, as a team. We I will try to create a, an environment where players. Uh, are comfortable to play, are comfortable to be coached, uh, staff that are comfortable to be uh, in the position to work and uh, and grow as people, and just that's 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 the way I am. I uh, I think that's the comfortable thing. Uh, like I said, it's great to have all the resources and all the all the things that are that are there to make your 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 journey comfortable. But they're they're the things that that, that don't really matter in the long run. It's so this is this the people that are important, and I'm a big people person. Yeah, the news overnight, Simon, that Czech had uh, joined Leicester. Uh, did that surprise you? And and do you kind of wish that he was potentially an option that that now no longer is? No, no, it doesn't surprise me at all. Knowing Czech, he's uh He's, he's got his uh, fingers in uh, many, uh, many, many, many pies, and he's uh, he, he's up there. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, we've got what what I will say is we've got a great selection of uh, coaches available to us uh, that have made themselves available to us, and uh, we'll get a good, uh, really good coaching staff out of it. I guess a question for Paul with um, Simon locked in, you sort of chatted chat brief about the head coach and position. Is there a timeline in place where you want that sort of in like locked in before sort of heading into the 25 season? Oh, look, I think for us, Nathan, I think the urgency is the word that was used earlier. I think that's where we find ourselves at the moment. We know that there's a lot of player movement at the moment. We know there's a lot of discussions in the marketplace. So for us, just trying to get that done as quickly as possible, but, but actually doing a really thorough process to make sure we get the right person. Um, because we know what will happen after that. So we've got one uh, piece of the puzzle locked in, which is Simon. The next one will be the head coach. And then obviously with um, our assistant coaches, it'll cascade down through there. So we'll, we will take our time uh, to make sure we get it right. But at the same time, we'll try and do it as quickly as possible. So, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to put a timeline on it, except um, we are working frantically to, uh, to get ourselves through the process as quickly as we possibly can. I guess for Simon, seeing the results of last year, you know, um, too, from the men's side of things, how much does that hurt given your your own connection to sort of New South Wales rugby and sort of seeing it not where, you know, people are sort of forecasting might have been 12, 12, 24 months ago? Yeah, it, it was difficult. Uh, obviously, the and it wasn't a part of uh, of the plan. We we had a great squad. We had, we had some really bad luck with injuries in terms of uh, just – Getting consistent injuries after injury after injury after injury, and that that played on any any team's confidence. But this is a new year. Um, this is a a new squad. This is going to be a new staff, and we're going to go out there and we're going to go uh, try to right the wrongs of uh, last year uh, and make 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 the rights that they did do, that they did uh, create even better. So we we've got a we've got a great opportunity this year to uh, to grow. And I think that's what the big uh, the big big word for this year is going to be growth. Uh, we're going to get we're going to get those uh, the good pillars that we've already got in place. Uh, there's some very good pillars at New South Wales Rugby, but just strengthening that spine of their squad and uh, making it stronger for future future um, uh, success. Hey, so how do you reflect on the state of Australian rugby at the moment? Look, you've you've just known Australian rugby you like the back of your hand since growing up, and you've seen the highs and the lows. But you also were a big part of it last year at the World Cup. Um, yeah, where do you think the solutions might be, and and how do you see the game at the moment? Well, at, at the moment, Christy, it's it's been it's a, it's a little bit of in transition uh, Australian rugby, and I've, they've made some really great recruits with Peter Horn and uh, uh, Joe Schmidt and th those guys coming in. So there's some real uh, what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? Probably stability uh, for the first time in a in probably three or four years, or since when I was back in uh, there was there wasn't much stability then either. So. Uh, um, yeah, it's 
what what Australian rugby needs is that stability and their growth from from schoolboys through the Colts through the through the grade up through Super, and then once you've got a, a stable system, you've got success. And uh, at the moment, there's been a bit of a uh, a bit of a D linkage of what you what you would say uh, between between the the, the different uh, sectors. But yeah, we we're we're really working on that uh, that uh, that that alignment through the programs, um, whether it be state or international or club. We're looking for that uh, that alignment, and I think that we're on a good with some of the recruitments that Australia the Rugby Australia has made, uh, the different unions have made. We've uh, we're on the we're on, a, we're on a good track at the moment. Obviously, results are going to be a huge thing with the Wallabies coming up, uh, coming through there. But I've I've got a, a heap of faith in Joe. He's a one of the great coaches, one of the great men. Um, uh, Peter Horn as well, just leading that uh, leading that that uh, that squad. And I think they're going to do, they're going to surprise some people with some of their results. And just on the you know the the World Cup. You, the fact that you guys were such heavy underdogs, 69 year drought that you managed to oversee, does it almost give you a bit of confidence knowing that upsets, you know, history, it's kind of made to be broken at times and, and you've done it pretty recently, been able to oversee one of the great upsets and and perhaps, you know, the Waratahs can be a great story in the coming years. Yeah, I, I don't use it upset. I don't use past, uh, past uh, glories as, uh, as, a, as, a, as a trump card. We... I, I genuinely wouldn't have taken the job. I didn't think that the Waratahs are a success in waiting. So I do think they have the bones. They do. They have the pillars. They have the the people in place to have success. There's obviously things that we need to work on. We need to get the best staff in possible in place, uh, whether it be playing or whether it be off field. Uh, we need to get the best players uh, through the juniors, uh, women, men, uh, getting all our uh, all our a ducks in a row so that we've got success on the field. And I think we've got some really good uh, uh, bones here uh, at the club. So I'm just here to push and uh, pull and maybe guide a few, few, uh, few, few uh, conversations in the right direction. And uh, yeah, and just to try to push the, us in, in, in the right direction. I do genuinely think that TARS are a gear for success in the upcoming years. And just on the Rebels, guys, there's, there's, players that are leaning towards perhaps other franchises, um, uh, guys like Luke Hanselikai, Loto and so forth. How You know him, you know people like Daniela Tupo. Are you, are you hopeful that your pre-existing relationships can help uh, ease some of the anxiety and, and how important it will be to get some of those guys from the Rebels who are top-tier players? Yeah, it's going to be very important. Uh, there's a couple of players that we've uh, already had convers- I've had conversations with. I won't uh, give you their names. Um, they, <laughs> they, they're, they're very important. Uh, they're very important to our, our what, what I see as our success is uh, the Waratah success, what we need in terms of players to put a spine uh, in place for, for the team to have success. So there's, there's some certain players, there's not as many as you probably think there would be. At the moment, but uh, well, I'll let Paul talk about the the players uh, in more detail because uh, uh, it's a, it's uh, I've only been here a couple of days yet. I can still use that. <laughs> can I just push you though? See if I can push you. You've seen the power of a guy like Taniella in, yep. in a Wallabies pack. How much would you like to see him cornering one of your scrums in New South Wales? It would be very nice. It would be very nice. Uh, Taniella's a and he was a great, a great young man. Um, he needs a home where someone can uh, show him some love. And um, yeah, if he if he's available, we'll uh, we'll 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 chat to him. Simon, who's bigger, you or Taniella, mate? Oh, mate, it's Taniella. I've, I've lost weight. I've got uh, I'm down to about 125 now. So <laughs> it helps when it's covered across six foot seven, though, Simon. <laughs> Tanya is about hundred. He's a he's a big man. He's a and he's a. It's all muscle. Mine is uh not all muscle, unfortunately. And last year, um, when Eddie came back, there was talk about him overseeing the women's program. Uh, how, how like hands on, or how, how actual like is this just a, a word that you've put in your title as well, or Paul's put in your title, or how how, how much are you actually going to be doing the nitty gritty stuff with the women's program? 
No, I, I'm not, I can't speak for Paul, but I'm uh, 100% invested in the women's program. So I've uh, been a part of uh, the Fijiana, uh, the Fijiana drawer, building them, uh, building them up, giving them the opportunities, uh, creating pathways for Fiji, uh, Fijian women in uh, Fiji, not just on the field, but off the field. Um, I see it as part of a huge role. The, the women's space is a huge, uh, is a huge part of our game. Uh, with the Waratahs, it's uh, the the place where we had the most success last year. We we won uh, we won the title there, so we we expect we we have expectations uh, to to continue that and to to grow. To be honest, so um, it, like a lot of people have uh, that uh, title in their name is a is a bit of a bit of a I don't know whatever it may be but uh mine's mine's there as to work with it and then be part of it and i'm excited to be part of the the women's program and i, I guess Thanks. just to pull up on that christy that uh, we don't pay lip service to that uh, we're really proud of the way in which our women's programs academy program and win and men's program actually fully integrated across the business whether it's the the way in which they all get access to the building whether it's the medical staff the high performance staff but effectively it is already integrated so for simon to sit across all of that i think um it, it makes perfect sense, but it'll actually give us even better outcomes. Yeah, cool. And just is there an actual time frame? Like, you know, Leicester managed to get Czech to be their head coach in a matter of days. Like, how long does this take to get um, your next Waratahs head coach? Not that long. Yeah, and I, I'm 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 uh, I'm questioning the, the days part. So yeah, just put that out there. <laughs> 